Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in uh, discrete mathematics that is a normal form which is disjunct to normal form. So in our previous session we have seen the conjunct to normal form so which is nothing but the uh, product of elementary sums and here now in this session we are going to see a one more normal form called disjunct to normal form which is sum of elementary products. So let us start the session. Disjunct to normal form. So which can be also called as DNF. So previous session we have seen CNF and now it is a DNF. So whatever the steps we have seen to convert any formula to CNF are same for disjunct to normal form also. So once again we'll be recalled, right? So I'll post the links in the description so that you just refer that one, right? Yeah. So step one, eliminate conditional and biconditional. Eliminate the conditional and biconditional by using a different formulas. So whatever the formulas, you know that P implies Q can be written as negation P or Q. And similarly, P biconditional Q is can be written as P conditional Q and Q conditional P. So by using these two formulas, we have to eliminate the conditional and biconditional connectives in our formula. If our formula is having these two, so we have to use these formulas and we have to eliminate it. And the second step, second step. So we need to eliminate the negation. If there is any negation for the complete uh, elementary product or elementary sum, that should be eliminated. So the second one, eliminate negation negation if it is on the complete elementary product or sum. So here we are going to use a de Morgan's law. So for this we have to use a de Morgan's law. De Morgan's so what is this de Morgan's law? So negation of P and Q can be written as negation P or negation Q. Similarly, negation of P or Q can be written as negation P and negation Q. So by using this de Morgan's law, the second step, if our formula is having some negation for either elementary product or elementary sum, that should be eliminated. So for example, so if our formula is in this way, so you need not worry about that. If the formula is in this way, now you have to apply this de Morgan's law and you have to eliminate this particular negation for a complete elementary product or elementary sum. Now, third step. So we can use any loss of logic. So we have seen loss of logics in our previous session. So identity law, item potential law, okay, commutative, associative, okay, distribution and uh, de Morgan's, Domino's rule, double negations, right? So all these, by, by using all these laws, we have to convert the complete formula into sum of elementary products, right? So mainly we are going to use the distributive law. So use distributive law, distributive law to form, sorry, DNF, it's not a CNF, DNF. In our previous session, we have completed the CNF. So in order to convert into DNF, we have to use mainly the distributive law. It doesn't mean that only we have to use the distributive law, but we can use any loss of logic. So let us check with the distributive law. So P and Q or R can be written as P and Q or P and R. 
So you can see this is in DLF because this is the elementary product and this is the elementary product. In between the elementary products, the connective is disjunction. Similarly, P or Q and R, this can also be written as P and R or Q and R. So by using these two formulas, that means a distributed law. So we need, we can convert any kind of formula into the DLF. So you can observe here, if our formula is having in this format, simply we can use this distributive law to form the DLF. So these are the basic steps we are using in order to convert any formula to DLF, disjunct to normal form. Okay, so I'm writing here the disjunct to normal form is, so which is nothing but sum of elementary products. Sum of elementary products. Elementary product. So this is the format of DLF. Now uh, let us look with an example so that you can understand. So let us uh, solve this example. So obviously we are uh, seeing this is not in DLF. Now we have to convert into DLF. So first, what's the first rule? Eliminate implies and double implies. So in our uh, formula, we are not having any double double implies and we have to eliminate this implies or double implies. So complete this one, treat it as x and this is y. We know that x implies y can be written as negation x or y, sorry, y. Negation x or y. Similarly, so this can be written as negation of negation of p or q or r okay now again we are having a one more implication right so again once again eliminate implies and double implies so we have to use this implies so negation of negation of negation p or q or r okay now you can expand so you can use a double negation here negation 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 right so you can apply d morgan's law d morgan's law right so you can apply so, sorry so before applying the d morgan's law we can go with the double negation so here there is a negation and here negative negation right uh, okay let us go with the d morgan's d morgan's law so which is negation of p uh, or q can be written as can be written as negation p and the negation q so here you can apply so negation of negation of negation p or q and negation r and negation r and this apply double negation double negation what is this double negation double negation we can eliminate negation of negation p can be written as p so here you can write negation negation so negation p or q and negation r okay negation p or q negation r now from here you can see apply distributive law distributive law so you can apply the distributive law so negation p and negation r negation p and negation r or q and negation r q and negation r so if you observe here these two are the elementary products and the connective between the two elementary products is a disjunction 
so this is nothing but sum of elementary products sum of elementary products so obviously this is in the form of distinct to normal form dmf right so hope you understood simply we have to follow the steps simply we have to follow the steps eliminate the implies and double implies and uh, if there is any negation just apply the ne negation de morgan's law we are applying and then use any laws of logic and finally you can also apply mostly you will be applying the distributive law in order to form the dmf so hope you understood this one let us move on with the next example so that you will be getting one more clarity so let us solve this one one more example so p implies q and r so which is not in a dmf which is not in a dmf now we have to convert this one to a dmf so start with the first step so eliminate implies so that this can be eliminated negation p or q and r so this is the format we have taken right yes simply so there is no negation here so we can't we, we need not eliminate the negation so this is negation p that's no problem and this is completely elementary product and there is no negation here so we need not bother about the negation right so i can apply the distributive law to form the dna so apply distributive law distributive law so what uh, how it will be coming so negation p or q and negation p or r okay so you can see this is the cnf not the dnf this is a cnf not the dnf now again apply the distributive law again apply the distributive law let us apply this one okay so consider this one is a p sorry i'll write here x this is y and this is z so x and y or z can be written as x and y or x and z so we can write in this format right so now um yes negation p or q this is a x and y negation p next one or x and z so negation p or q next one and or okay negation p or q and negation p or r right and now uh, yes now again apply the distributive law negation p and negation p or okay q and negation p or again you can apply here negation p and r or q and r see here also we are applying distributive law and now we hope you understood this one right so after applying the distributive law negation p or q and negation p or negation p or q and r 
So now again we are applying the distributive law on both the things. So now what happens here? So negation P and negation P or Q and negation P or negation P and R or Q and R. So you can observe all these are elementary products and in between the elementary products we are having the disjunction. So obviously this is in the format of D N F disjunct to normal form. So like this we have to derive or we have to form the DNF. We have to find out the DNF okay, from the given formula. So the formula is very simple but we are converting the same to DNF, disjunct to normal form which is a sum of elementary products. Right? So let me give you a two more examples so that you just practice and uh, uh, post your uh, answer in the comment section. So these are the two more examples. Just uh, apply the formulas, up, follow the steps and convert these formulas to DENF disjunct to normal form. Right? By following the steps. Apply any kind of logic, loss, loss of logic to convert this into DNF. And once you get this DNF form, suppose your uh, result as a comment okay, to this video. So that everyone will be knowing the answer. Right? So let's stop here. And uh, if you are having any difficulty while deriving or converting into a DNF process, so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I'll try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.